Egyptian American Mustafa Qasim has died after more than six years in custody in Egypt, according to officials. Egypt's Attorney General said in a statement that the dual citizenship holder died in a hospital in Cairo on Monday, a day after being transferred there from prison. An autopsy was ordered to determine the cause of death. According to Qasim's daughter, Dima, his health deteriorated after launching a hunger strike inside the prison to protest against his arrest during a 2013 crackdown by security forces against supporters of former President Mohamed Morsi after the army toppled him. Qasim had long insisted he was falsely charged and had no links to any opposition groups. Dima alleged that her father had suffered from a case of intentional medical negligence, which led to his death. She also said that Qasim was first imprisoned for a period of five years without being formally charged. Qasim had reportedly been on a liquid-only hunger strike since being convicted in September 2018 and four days ago ceased drinking fluids. The United States confirmed his death and said it would continue to raise concerns over Egypt's human rights record, which rights groups have repeatedly criticized over the government's treatment of political detainees, dissidents, journalists and human rights defenders. I am deeply saddened to learn today the death of U.S. citizen Mustafa Qasim who'd been imprisoned in Egypt, the U.S. Assistant Secretary for Near Eastern Affairs, David Schenker, told a State Department briefing on Monday. His death in custody was needless, tragic and avoidable, Schenker said. I will continue to raise our serious concerns over human rights and Americans detained in Egypt at every opportunity. Commenting on the news, U.S. Senator Chris Murphy said in a Twitter post that Qasim should have never been detained. Mike Pompeo must remind Egypt that military aid is legally tied to releasing prisoners, including at least six U.S. citizens, Murphy said, referring to the U.S. Secretary of State.